So I'm Vijanti Ram Logan Murphy with Greening Nipissing. Uh, we are a member of Green Communities Canada. We're based in North Bay, Ontario. Today we're talking about rain barrels. I'm here today with Michael Puccini. He's a Canadian certified environmental practitioner and he's also a heritage gardener and he's here to show us his rain barrels. So what do you need to look for in a rain barrel? Well, there's a couple important things. First of all, the construction of a rain barrel. Ideally, the rain barrel, uh, in this case a plastic one, should be high density polyethylene plastic, or the number two symbol, uh, which represents the same thing, HDPE. Another thing you look for is that it has to have a screen on the top. This keeps the debris that's washing off your roof uh, from getting down into your rain barrel, which can plug uh, your uh, valve lines and things of that nature. Your rain barrel should be on a nice steady stand because uh, when it's full of water, it's very heavy, so it has to be very stable. And then, of course, the fittings are on the bottom in regards and how you do the fittings, depending on what you're going to use a rain barrel for, either for filling watering cans or hooking it up to a soaker hose. So what is a rain barrel and what do you use it for? Well, it's a collection device. Rain barrels can be made of plastic or wood, and basically it's a big vessel. And what you're doing is capturing the rain that's falling on the roof that's being collected by your east trough, and you're redirecting your east trough down into your rain barrel. This way you're saving the water, and you can use the water to flower your vegetable gardens, your flower gardens, or if you have flower pots and things of that nature, versus using tap water. So why use a rain barrel? I'll give you three good reasons. The first reason is you're conserving water. Typically we let the water run off our roofs, down our east troughs, down the streets and into the storm sewers. Secondly, water from your tap is treated water. There are chemicals in that water which are needed in order to have safe drinking water, but these are chemicals that typically that you don't want to put on your plants, your vegetables, your flowers. And thirdly, you're saving money. Most uh, municipalities charge for the water that you use, they treat it municipal water. This is free water, so it puts a little money back in your pocket. Greeting Nipissing and the Heritage Gardeners do a rain barrel sale uh, every year. Check out www.rainbarrel.ca and you can purchase your rain barrel online and then come to the sale in the spring and pick up your barrel.